Well, I had spent the previous uh, 10, 12 years uh, working out of London as a Polish language publisher, uh, uh, producing the sort of um, uh, books that couldn't negotiate the census office uh, in Poland under martial law. And uh, we published both Polish authors and authors uh, from um, other countries uh, who had slim chance of being published under the communist authorities. Part of the activity was, um, in fact, smuggling books uh, into uh, martial law Poland. And for this purpose, uh, one had a wide network of um, friends and associates who would uh, aid and abet this activity. Person-to-person -person distribution was probably the most um, uh, successful. Um, visitors from Poland would um, uh, either go to the Polish library here or to our offices or to other places in London where it was known that uh, there are small repositories of emigre books and they'd be given two, three, four, uh, which they would take home in their own luggage. And of course, some were caught at the airport or at the railway station in Warsaw, others got through. So it was just a question of um, luck. I was uh, not admitted to um, Poland since 1980 and before that as well. Um, in the late 70s, I'd gone across to Poland and befriended um, several people uh, from the opposition. I, I was refused a visa on every occasion. So I never went to Poland from uh, 76, 77, all the way through to um, uh, 1990. After 1989, um, I think uh, Polish people living outside of Poland um, saw that this was very definitely a threshold, uh, but there was always a feeling that the empire could perhaps strike back. So it took a number of years to, uh, to get comfortable with the idea that we had actually reached a point of no return for communism. And from that point onwards, um, Poland could begin to develop as, develop as a normal country.